Okay. Oris block, Swift Tech GPU block, and the Cape Corp 150. So the issue I'm running into is that if I have this pump, which is the EKFD Vario D5, um, if it's basically too strong or too fast, and it's a PWM pump, um, it basically creates too much air bubbles that then drops down, goes through my loop, and gets stuck right up in this corner here, up at the top of the G, uh, sorry, the CPU. So, I mean, the reasoning is, is it's obvious, is because the reservoir is below, um, like the level is below here, so any like air that gets into my pump, um, you know, it goes through the rad, and goes into, CPU is then, um, yeah, going to get trapped up there and then it's not going to be pushed out. No matter, even if you put the pump to 100%, it actually creates so much bubbles in here that it uh, puts more air into the system and just screws everything up. Um, so basically, I've already gone onto Alpha Cool and um, ordered a 250, uh, which I'm going to be mounting to the door here, um, basically because I do want the light tower effect. Uh, more so. Um, I also am going to put a cold cathode ray in there to get a little bit of, you know, cooling in there. Um, as you can see, I am in the BIOS right now. I'm not doing anything. I already set up all the fans and everything. Um, but my, my temperature is like dropping right now in the BIOS. Um, I'm at about. So I figured out that the pump ideally runs at like 28 for the, uh, or sorry. So the pump runs at 46 ideally, <laughs> excuse me. It's a 46% um, in order to get, um, you know, like a good flow, basically like minimal air bubble and everything else, um, but the light tower tends to sag um, and kind of loses its uh, flare. Um, so basically what I've done is I've put it up to about um, 48 uh, to about, and then it fluctuates to about 50% uh, all the way up to like 50, 60 degrees, which is never going to be. So I mean pretty much between yeah, it's operating temperatures, it's going to be constantly running at 47%, 48%, um, which is, to me, like the ideal um, pump speed for this. So you've got pretty short loop though here, so you've only got the pump, a, a quick flow 240 radiator, um, you know, a pretty big uh, CPU block, but I mean, regardless, there's not a lot of fluid being moved in this system. Um, yeah, I mean, the light tower looks okay now, but this took me a long time. It also took me a while to figure out that I needed to put um, a drain valve after the pump. Um, so that basically any air that may basically... So when air gets trapped up in here, you pretty much have to turn the uh, case so that this section here, which is the output, is like the highest uh, part of the block in order for the bubble to come out. So, yeah, if you have that reservoir low, um, you know, basically the air is then going to get into your intake, so you have to really get it all the way up, get all your air bubbles out, and then drain it. Um, if you guys want a video of uh, the process of that, I could do it later. Um, but yeah, so there it is. And uh, I'm just in the BIOS, no light effects really right now. All right.